What's up guys, it's X-Rays, and welcome to, I guess, a Let's Play of Pokemon Black version. I still haven't played Black 1 or Black 2, so I thought, why not do it? And so, let's jump straight into it. Uh, hopefully the game audio and the actual audio itself is, uh, is all good and such, so hopefully this comes out decent. Hi there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. That's a damn lie. What about the Pokemon Professor, Dr. Oak, or Professor Oak? Huh? Is he also a Pokemon Professor? That's right, this world is widely inhabited by mysterious creatures called Pokemon. Pokemon have mysterious powers, they come in many shapes, and live in many different places. We humans live happily with Pokemon living and working together. That's a damn lie. We complement each other. That's also a damn lie. We'll help each other out to accomplish difficult tasks. Tasks. Oh, what the hell? Tax. What the hell? Yeah, that's right. They pay tax. That's what they do. Having Pokemon battle one another is particularly popular, and it deepens the bonds between people and Pokemon. Of course, because you know, if if you know cockfighting and you know having dog fights is illegal, but hey, we can put creatures, friendly creatures, to fight each other because that's completely normal. And that is why I research Pokemon. That means you're a sick bastard, Pokemon professor. Well, that's enough for me. Could you tell me about yourself? Oh yes, yes. Uh, I'm a girl. I'm a girl! I'm a girl! No, I'm just playing. I'm a dude. I have a cock. What you gonna do? You're a boy, right? Yes, I have to ask you twice. What is my name? You can just call me... You can call me Retro G. So you can call me Itch. I said Itch, you know, because I have an Itch. Oh, oh, maybe it'll fit. I don't know if it will, though. Uh, Retro... Oh, oh, it's gonna fit! Oh, sweet! It's gonna fit! It's gonna fit people. It's gonna definitely fit. Yes, my name is Retro G. What a wonderful it is a wonderful name. Thank you. Well then I'm going to introduce you to your two best friends. They're not best friends at all. We have this young gay faggot here. He can be a little difficult, but he's a very honest person. And we also have the slut bag. He she goes around effing all the guys at the Pokemon world. No, but seriously. <laughs> uh, she's a little and uh, I think you have three have I think you three have potential so I'm going to give you a very very important Pokemon ooh retro G the moment you choose a Pokemon that will accompany you on your journey your story will truly begin during your journey you will meet many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of view I don't want to know their views I really hope you find what is important to you in all of these travels that's right, befriend new people and Pokemon, and grow as a person. That is the most important goal for your journey. No, it's not. That's a damn lie. Let's go visit the world of Pokemon. Yay! Summer! Yay! Summer! Talk about Swinter. Uh, game Freak presents another Pokemon game that everyone has been asking for. There goes the professor. Walking. Oh, she's going to my house. Yay, she's coming to my house. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna give her the D. You know, she can give me a Pokemon because that's what I like to do, baby. Sharon. I, I can't even label their names. That's gay. Retro G. I heard from Professor Juniper we can have a Pokemon. Ooh, aren't you excited? What's keeping Bianca? Oh, maybe because she's a girl and is having her period. Am I a little late again? Sorry, I was I was leaking blood all over the place. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Bianca, I've known you I've known for ten years that you have no sense of time. But seriously, bro. Today's the day that we get Pokemon from Professor Juniper or Jupiter, as in Sailor Jupiter. I should have called her Sailor Jupiter if I had the option. Bianca, I know. Sorry, Retro G. Sorry, Sharon. Or Sheeran, Karen. What the hell is your name? So, where are the Pokemon? Oh, they're up your ass. They're delivered to Retro G's house, so Retro G gets first pick. Naturally. Are you dumb? The Pokemon are waiting for us inside the gift box. Okay, Retro G. You go first and take a peek at the gift box. You want to meet the Pokemon right now. Yeah, right. Oh, okay, I guess I'm gonna do it. Uh-oh, I get to choose. Here we go. Here's the letter. I brought three Pokemon, one for you and one for your, one each of your friends. Please settle your choice politely. Enjoy your Pokemon, Professor Juniper Lee, Sailor Jupiter. 
All right, so I got to choose here. So we got this weird pig-looking faggot. We've got uh, Snivy, and we've got Oshwat. Oshawat. Oshawat. What should I pick? I don't even know. I kind of want Snivy, but I don't know. Water Pokemon. What's easier? What's easier to get a water Pokemon or uh, I think I'll maybe get a water Pokemon. He might be. Yeah, I think I'll get this faggot. Oshawat. Oshawat. Yeah, I chose him. Yeah, isn't that awesome? Okay, I'll take this Pokemon, and I'll take this one because I'm also a faggot. Hey, let's have a three-way Pokemon battle, or just a three-way in general. Let's do each other in the butt. I'm the one out of that. Don't worry, you worry wart. That's right. You're gonna get a wart in your butt. We have to. We have to let them battle so they'll get stronger. It's settled, Retro G. Get ready for Pokemon battle. Oh, she only has one Pokemon. Oh my god, Pokemon trainer. She sent out her pig. Ooh, let's go, Oswald. I'm gonna call you Oswald. I want him to fight. I want him to tackle him. Yeah, tackle. Wait, he tackled first? You whole bag. Take some of that. Ouch! I won't let you get away with that! Yes, I yes you will. Do some kind of retarded tail whip or something. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because you're inexperienced, unlike me. Look at my moves here. Use tackle! Yeah, she's probably going to use tail whip again. It's probably the most predictable garbage ever. Oh, she actually tackled me. Holy crap, I'm actually going to die here, folks. I think, I think, I think this is over. Oh, I got to hit first? Use Tail Whip, that's right, that's the right technique to use right there. Obviously the most important meal of the day, uh oh, again with the Tail Whip. This guy sucks, I mean this girl, my god, Bianca, you're worthless. Look at me, I just defeated your little cornball. Yeah, you got defeated. Give me some money. Give me your boobs. Let's go. Give me your body. That's what I want. That's what I want in exchange. That money. Ooh, whoa. Looks like the room's trashed. No doubt. Uh, Bianca, you would you take a look around? Holy crap! I destroyed the room. Oh, whoa! What happened? Wow, Pokemon are amazing. So little, but so strong. I'm so glad that I get to have a Pokemon. Oh, um, uh, sorry about your room, Retro G. You are completely hopeless. Here, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. Retro G's Pokemon need to be fixed up too. Oh yeah, heal my Pokemon. Hey Sharon, how about you battle too? Of all you know, I'm sure you can battle without turning the room into a disaster like I did. I believe you're right. It'll be no problem for me to keep the room from getting any messier. Besides, it's not fair if you two are the only ones who get have fun battling. Now it's your turn. You'll be the opponent for our first Pokemon. Let's see what you can do, Snivy. Yeah, Snivy. Let's see what you can do. Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to make these episodes. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, Snivy. Go out there, you little snake-looking plant. Yeah, let's go, Oswald. Where is Waldo? Use tackle. Oh, don't tackle me. Use this. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. That's what I like to see. Yeah, let's see. If you're able to fully restore. Oh, no. Leer. If you're able to fully restore your Pokemon, you'd think that he would have like a full restore or something in his pocket. But instead, he decides to use a, a waste of a Pokemon move. Here we go. Tackle me. Oh, holy crap. Did I just really get tackled and die? On top of that, we'd better go apologize. Oh my god. That was so dumb. I had the match. I had it. He lied to me. He freaking lied to me. This bastard. Yes, yes. Yes, well, we can clean up. Clean up. No worries. I'll take care of you later. That's right, Mom. Thank you for that. Yeah, Professor, I'm going to go talk to her and say thank you. Huh. <sighs> 
waiting in front of the Pokemon Research Lab. Oh no, wait, I've got to get home first. Oh, thanks for having us over. Yeah, thanks for doing nothing. I should probably talk to you, Mom. Oh, great, now you're going to talk to me. Yes, what's up? Man, my retro team Pokemon is better. It's so lively, aren't they? I could hear the Pokemon's cries clear from down here. That's right, I beat my Pokemon when they lose. Hmm, that sure reminded me of my first Pokemon battle. What the hell happened to your Pokemon? Oh, and you know, after a battle, you need to rest, rest your Pokemon. I was about to say reset. I'm not going to re reset no damn Pokemon. Your Pokemon is looking great. Now, if you're going out, don't forget your cross. After they didn't finish reading the sentence. Retro D, uh, Retro G obtained the extra Seaver. X Transceiver. Cross Transceiver. I'll just say Cross. Cross Transceiver! Retro G put the Cross Transceiver in the key item's case. You're going to thank the professor too, right? Better get going, honey. Yeah, yeah, thanks for slowing me down. Good. Well, we better look at that crackhead go. There's a bunch of birds everywhere. I guess they're having a good time. Uh, and now it's it's time for me to thank uh, the professor here. Oh, looks like he's already here. Hey, corn. I'm just gonna save real quick, actually, uh, just cause, cause YOLO. You know, would you like to save? Yes, I'm gonna save. I think I might end the first episode here for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed episode one. I wonder if the actual audio of the game was captured. If not, then I apologize for that. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next part. I'm Retro G, and I'm out. Peace.